Now in our campaign 2012 coverage continuing in Rock County where U.S. Representative Paul Ryan downplayed the idea of becoming the next vice president. Reporter Margo Spann has more from his listening session. If I see a problem, I feel like my job is to try and offer a solution. At a listening session on Friday, Representative Paul Ryan answered tough questions from constituents. And let's just have a nice conversation. But there's one question he's avoiding. Will he or won't he run as a Republican vice presidential nominee? What do you think is a better job, a uh, vice president or uh, treasury secretary? I, I haven't given thought to that one either. I'm not gonna, you think I'm going to answer that question? <laughs> I uh, wanted to shout in there, uh, uh, Paul Ryan for vice president. Tom German came from Berlin, Wisconsin to show his support for Representative Ryan. Even though it didn't come up during the listening session, the thought of a 2012 bid was on folks' minds. His budget is everything we need. We gotta do some drastic cutting just to survive as a nation. I say think again. I mean, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a disaster. I, uh, I personally wouldn't vote for, uh, for, for, for that. Outside his constituent center on Main Street, some say having a Wisconsinite in the White House could help the local economy. I see him on the TV. He's a really smart gentleman. People need a job. His policies um, are useful and effective at a local level, but I think applying them nationwide, probably on, on average would not be good for the nation. Paul Ryan, a solid conservative Republican. Um, I know he's done a lot for Janesville, and uh, I think he would make a very good choice. Now, some bishops in the Catholic Church disagreed with Congressman Ryan after he said his House budget was, quote, crafted using his Catholic faith. We asked him about that today, and he said that people of goodwill can disagree. All right, Rep reporter Margo Spann, thanks.